Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Daily Love Tarot reading. Please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. This one certainly came out quick. I definitely feel like with Threshold being something's going to happen fast here today. You're on the threshold of change, something like that. Could be coming in quick card really jumped out fast and it is threshold so let's see what else in the energies today for in love for the general collective oh nice wow someone really in this beautiful empress energy unconditionally loving divine feminine energy here nurturing loving um very sensual beautiful hmm empowered nice yes empowered Someone really uh, shining brightly here. Ooh, three of cups. Hmm. Could be about celebrating some sort of a love situation uh, coming together. Hmm. Yeah, celebrating some sort of love situation coming together. So you could be getting together with someone that you've been... Um, or you could be taking a next step. Yeah, it could be taking a next step in a relationship. That could be what you're on the threshold of. Maybe going from dating to exclusive or, you know, exclusive to engagement. You know, steps. It depends on where you are on your journey, of course. But could be a next step. But definitely wanting to celebrate something here. Wow, wow. Falling in love. Hmm. Yeah, this is a new situation possibly coming in. Very much heart fulfilled. Wow. Someone really making you happy here. Or you making someone else happy, remember? Could be someone else's energy. Um, you making them happy, them making you happy. Something like that. Okay, let's see. Very heart fulfilled new relationship coming through there. Feeling blissful, joyous, in love. Wow. What? Wow. Ten of Pentacles. This is huge. Oh, my goodness. This is about the happily ever after, you know, feeling an abundance of everything. Okay. You, you are just on top of the world here. Okay. Abundance of love, prosperity, wealth, peace, happiness, harmony, bliss. I mean, it's all of the things. Okay. It's just a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um whoa this is something big here you're on the threshold of something really big for some of you this a new relationship beginning but this is someone you have a deep powerful connection with or it could be just a next step right new relationship beginning but i was getting next step here for some of you so general reading general energy so don't you know everything might not resonate for everyone so let's see Wow, huge. Let's see what this Empress is about. Very curious here. This is a beautiful day. Empress on Empress. Whoa. Ooh. So what I'm getting here, very powerful message. This is divine. Okay, this connection is divine. Okay, um, and this is about the divine masculine being open and ready to receive. Okay, Empress on Empress. This is the Empress really um, being open and receptive to a masculine who has shifted into their feminine energy and has balanced the two out, masculine and feminine. So they're very much standing in their masculine power, but they're also open and receptive to love. Huge message there. Wow. Wow, this is this. We could be talking about a twin flame soulmate reunion here. Threshold of that. Celebrating that. Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's get more. Three of Cups. Wow, that's huge energy there. The Fool. Yeah, see? Starting a new journey. Celebrating this new journey. I love it. Wow, okay, I love this energy. I don't even want to clear the board after this. Whoop, 
Look at this. Look, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see. Lovers? World Ace of Swords. Okay, good. All right, good. So there's been some sort of a completion of a cycle in one or both of your lives. Someone is extremely clear that they want this new beginning with the Ace of Swords, okay? Um, the World card is that completion of a cycle and possibly the beginning of a new cycle right here, right? A new journey, starting out something new, a whole new cycle of life. And the Lover's card. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you, I told you it was divine. It is, okay? This is, I feel, um, definitely a divine connection going on here today. And of course, this won't resonate for everyone, right? But it doesn't mean that, you know, these energies are present. So if it's not your divine counterpart, this is someone that you're meeting, right? Say it's a new relationship, right? I'm going to try to you know, let you know how it can fit into you as well. Okay. This is a new relationship. You're wanting to celebrate a new journey with someone new. This is someone who has healed themselves, done the work, and they're really balanced. Okay. And they're wanting long term. So even if you're not a twin flame, and even if this is not a divine connection, um, it still could be relevant to you, right? You could have completed some sort of a cycle of, you know, being in another relationship or marriage. You could have completed a cycle of being single for a long time. You're very clear now that you want a new beginning in love and your lover, you meet someone that really, really connects with you. Okay. So, I mean, it could be, like I said, it is divine. Definitely for some of you out there, this is the divine connection we're talking about. For others, it may not be, but it doesn't mean that the energy can't apply to your life or your situation. Okay, 10 of pentacles. What is this? We got two again. Wow, a lot of cards coming out. We have the chariot. Ooh, and the ace of pentacles. Wow, yeah, look at this. The yin and yang here, black and white horse, ace of pentacles, new start, big, beautiful new start in the physical world, okay? Pentacles energy, okay? Um, this is offering all of, you know, everything, you know? It's a big seed of growth for future. Um, wanting long term with ten of pentacles, I mean, it's definitely um, choosing that path, okay, with the, with the chariot. And moving forward toward it quickly as well. Yeah, so this could be a very fast moving um, connection, especially if it's a divine connection. You probably have had a history of some sort uh, where you felt that deep connection and maybe you disconnected. And now uh, you're coming back together in union and it's, you know, it's off to the races kind of thing, okay, is what I'm feeling here. Wow. What a reading. Holy mackerel. I like this. Oh, I don't want to change the... Oh, look at this. Bliss. And it, it didn't even give me a chance to shuffle and it already wanted to flip out of the deck. It's absolutely blissful energy. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. This day is blissful. You're right on the threshold of extreme happiness here. Okay. Let's see. And of course, won't apply for everybody. Not everything will resonate for everyone, but... These energies here, very big, beautiful energies. We have oh, pretty card, lots of hearts there, lots of love. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, so a lot of good choices being made in love today. Choosing to move forward, choosing to start this new journey choosing to really love deeply, right? Work for something together, build something together. Lots of choices. Step into your power. Oh, you both have, okay? <laughs> I'll just say that right off bat here. You both have stepped into your power is what I'm definitely picking up here with this energy. That is absolutely the case here. What else? For the general collective and love. Purity. Yep. The energy is purified and balanced, right? Divine masculine here. 
uh, even though it's the Empress card, it's divine masculine um, balances, balancing his feminine energy with his masculine energy and really purifying the energy between you, you know, an energy of balance between you. So this is really, really good. Let's see what else. Let it go. So someone might have had something to let go. And of course, this might not resonate for everyone, even if it is a divine counterpart. It might not have been um, something to let go of in the past. But I do feel like it's something to let go of for most of you here. Could have been, you know, self-limiting beliefs. It might not be a physical thing, person, place, or anything like that. It might be, you know, self-limiting beliefs that might have been holding back this connection or, you know, fear, right? Even if it's not a divine counterpart, doesn't matter. Letting something go from the past doesn't necessarily mean, like I said, someone or something. This could have been a person who you had romantic feelings for, they had romantic feelings for you, and then they got afraid to speak that truth. They got afraid to maybe ask you out. They got nervous. They backed up. You know, so many different scenarios can be um, what these energies mean in these general energies. So always take it as it fits. But I feel definitely self-limiting beliefs coming through there for some of you. What else for the general collective and love for today, please? What else? Decisions. Yeah, so decisions, right? The chariot, deciding to move forward, right? That's exactly what I was kind of feeling there, right? Deciding to take that leap of faith, um, move forward toward happiness, prosperity, abundance, mm, making better choices, right? Like this card here, choices in love. Expand your understanding of life and love right so this is about really making good decisions hmm, nice what else here for today by the book and between worlds yeah so for some of you it could have been someone else as well right with let it go it could have been um, I was definitely picking up self-limiting beliefs there, though, and not really third-party energy, but it is coming through. So for someone, it may be relevant, you know. Um, someone could have been stuck between worlds. Maybe there was some other relationship or something like that that they had to walk away from. Um, but now, and they tried to do it by the book. They tried to, um, they tried to mend, mend? They tried to mend something. I don't know what that means, but mend. And whatever it is, it's by the book. They wanted to do it right. Oh, end, end. Oh, they wanted to end things by the book, end things by the book. So they wanted to do things right. Um, whoever, if this is about a third party, these two here, um, whoever that person is, you know, they're a human being, right? With feelings and emotions too. So I feel like this person, if, you know, if your person was with someone else, I feel like they wanted to do it right. They didn't want to be mean or nasty about it. They wanted to do things by the book and really be kind and compassionate through the process. Okay. Um, and again, that might only resonate for some of you. I thought it was mend. Uh, it was end. magician and the mirror so they are manifesting they are manifesting um better for themselves someone's making better decisions for themselves um really oh look at the bottom okay temple of the path <laughs> spirit look at the bottom temple path and the sun oh wow okay yeah okay so they're very very much so manifesting better for themselves whoever's making these decisions okay with the magician and the mirror this is another card indicating twin flames as well um, definitely could be, like I said. Um, and then we have sun, okay, and the temple path. So someone really wanting happiness, right? Deciding to be happy, deciding to move toward happiness, be happy within, and then it shows up in our reality, right? And the temple path, I'm feeling definitely like this is a wanting long-term commitment, 
okay with the temple path i always get like that marriage commitment type of vibe okay and with ten of pentacles ace of pentacles i definitely feel like that's a possibility with this relationship that's coming in or if this is your counterpart coming back either way um it's definitely a potential for long-term um commitment here is what i feel okay let's see what else for the general collective in love please one of these days i feel like the cards are going to pop out my computer keys because they land like underneath the keys <laughs> i'm like oh my goodness what time for healing so okay so for some of you and again this this energy might not have resonated for everyone right between worlds and by the book but if this person is coming out of a third party energy this is what i'm feeling is going to be you know necessary there will be a period of ne and need for healing okay so just kind of be patient with this person through that you know if they're coming toward you and they need time alone or they need space just kind of allow that right because everybody is entitled to have their own space right so if they need you know step away time away whatever it is just know it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them needing to maybe heal something right let's see what else for the general collective today in love please leaving partner yeah so for some of you that third party energy is definitely relevant okay um we're getting multiple messages here about it um and it definitely could be right for some of you and not for all of you but that's okay this is just saying that this person might need time right they might need a time for healing they are leaving a partner and moving towards something that's better suited for them it's the best decision for them they feel it's the best decision for them but they still may need time to heal right so all right guys well that is what i have for you for today i really hope this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow